Vice President of the United States and Mrs. Bush. The President of the United States and Mrs. Reagan. Please join the United States Army
Mr. President, Mrs. Reagan, Mr. Vice President, Mrs. Bush, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Americans all. Before we begin, I would like to ask your indulgence in a brief personal note. I cannot think of a greater honor than to stand here before this President and these people to help begin the celebration of the 50th American Presidential Inaugural, and I thank you all. Americans had quite a road to hoe before George Washington became their first President. But even with its freedom won, the new nation was not out of the woods yet. As Washington prepared to take that first oath, the mission of calling on a higher being to guide the nation. Washington, concluding his address, said, God has been pleased to favor the American people with opportunities for deliberating and deciding on a form of government for the security of their union and the advancement of their happiness. Way down upon the Wabash, such land was never known. If Adam had passed over it, the soil he'd surely own. He'd think it was the garden he played in as a boy. And straight pronounce it, he did in the state of Illinois. Then move your family westward, good health you will enjoy. And rise to wealth and honor in the state of You will enjoy and rise to wealth and honor in the state of Illinois. Anyone else but me, anyone else but me, no, 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 don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me, till I come marching home. Don't go walking down lover's lane with anyone else but me, anyone else but me, anyone else but me, till I come marching home. It just loves to pet and it fits you to a T So don't sit under the apple tree Till I come marching home
Ladies and gentlemen, please greet Ray Anthony and his band. Listen to the rails of 